Hi everyone, this is Saidi Khan again. I'm beginning a new series of tutorials on how we can use our programming language and mainly our studio to carry out basic remote sensing image analysis. So as part of this series, our first tutorial would be on how we can read and view a basic data set in our studio. I will be using a data set belonging to Landsat 8, which is captured for a location in California, United States. The scene was captured on 14th of June 2017 for this particular row and path. So in order to bring this data set into our studio, we need to open our studio. First, I will check out what is our current working directory. Okay, so I think, yeah, so we need to change our current working directory. So there are two ways to carry out loading of this data into our studio. First is we change the current directory to have RS data as part of this. So we bring it to current. So we just need to add the current folder. Okay, so if we check our directory again, so you see this is our current working directory. Okay, yeah. So one way is we create a list and read it one by one. The second is, even if we don't have this uh, set our current working directory in this folder, we could still use the second method. So I'll go with the second method. So let's try to bring band 2, band 3, band 4, and band 5, which are basically blue, green, red, and near infrared, respectively. So we first bring blue band, B2. So one way is we just copy, we Yeah, we just copy the name of the image. Okay. And we call it B2. And we have to use roster, roster function from the roster package. So one way is we do this. Okay. We select a package and then we go for a roster function. Okay. And then we provide the name of the file plus its extension TIFF because it's in a GeoTIFF format. So that's the one way to carry it. The, so you see we have B2 here in the global environment and under data. There is another way we could begin with, let's say we do library and we begin, we load this roster library. So we have the roster library over here, and then we go for B2, B2, and we use the roster command from the library, and again the same, we provide its name plus its extension, okay? We won't have a separate one because we already have loaded it. Okay, now let's move to B3. We use again the roster function of the roster package, we need to provide its name. So B3 is this. Okay, we copy the name. And then we paste the name here and add its extension, which is GeoTIFF. So you see we have B3 over here. Let's proceed to B4. Again, use the roster function from the roster package. add TIFF extension and enter the command using control enter. Okay, B4. Now move the last one, B5, which is near infrared. And again, we use Yeah. 
Okay, so we have loaded four bands of this particular scene, B2, B2, B3, B4, B5. B2 is blue, B3 green, B4 red, and B5 is near infrared. Now we try to print it and see what does B2 contains. So one way is we just do B2 and we run this command. Okay, so if you see here in the console, so we know it's a roster layer. Okay, the class of the object is roster layer. It has the dimensions are 1245 rows, 1497 columns, and 186, 3765 number of cells. And similarly, we have resolution. It's a 30, my, 30 meter by 30 meter. And this is a, the extent and the CRS, WGS84, S84 and zone 10 and projection is UTM and that's the source the name of the folder and then we have the values of this the other way we can use the print command from the base package and we provided the name of the data we have loaded B2 so this will also provide the same thing if we add print B3, okay, we have B3 here. Similarly, we could view each of these. So that's it for today. And in the next tutorial, we will further explore how we can create raster stack, raster break, and how we could also create RGBs. Look forward to see you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.